All right, let's go on a toy hunt. We first go to Walmart, of course. Not the best Walmart. I was walking around this cool Ninja Turtle section. Uh, I need to get these guys, but uh, I checked behind him and ba boom, Leonardo and Donatello. I was so freaking blown away when I saw that. Who would have thought I'd find these two at retail? I, I have been looking for these figures for literally like four years. And I found them at this random Walmart. Uh, in the wrestling section, of course, there's not much here. Some Kevin Nash's look pretty cool. Everything else is pretty common. I do pick up that Chad Gable because I love Chad Gable. Uh, the Sami Zayn's cool. I, it, it's just identical to what I already have. Of course, a Brock Lesnar, which I eh, don't really want to get that figure anymore. Randy Orton, which I already have. Tons of Hangman Adam pages. I don't need them, but, you know, they've been there for literally years. For some reason at this Walmart, literally everything was on sale. A lot of these G.I. Joes were on sale. I've been getting more into the G.I. Joes as of late, but these guys aren't really what I'm looking for. I really want to get Roadblock. Uh, the, these uh, McFarlane figures, everything was on sale. Just nothing I needed to pick up. Uh, accidentally recorded the wrong way. In the Marvel Legends, there's just nothing here. There's not even peg warmers. I don't get it. There's nothing here that MJ, of course. Then as I'm walking down, boom! Doc Ock. Uh, I've been looking for this forever. I was worried I would have to spend a lot of money on that. Uh, in the wrestling section, again, not much better. This Andrade, I really wanted when I saw it online, but seeing it in person, God, I'm glad I passed on it. Uh, then I forgot to record the entrance to the other Walmart, so this is just... Pretend this is a new Walmart. Uh, walking around, again, nothing here. There's just absolutely nothing. It's empty. There's the MJ, of course, a couple peg warmers, but, like, it's just empty. I, I don't get it. There's nothing there. I, what's happening? Uh, th there's a couple McFarlane figures, of course. Uh, for some reason, they have that Batman still. That thing's two years old. We literally just celebrated uh, the anniversary of the Batman releasing uh, two years ago, like a couple days ago. Uh, some Mario figures, of course. And then over here, oh, it broke my heart to see this. I just bought this Roman Reigns figure on eBay for a little bit more than retail. I, it wasn't too bad. It was like uh like 37 dollars which is a little bit more than retail uh so i'm gonna have to figure that out i do end up picking him up and the oscar too because i i love oscar Ugh, so many of these chris jericho's and a lot of these are figures that have been here for years it's a bad store all right so now it's time to round everything up and show you all the things i got because i wasn't able to get everything on camera but that is okay so i guess we'll just start with one of the first things, one of the more simple things, but still a pretty cool thing, this Chad Gable. I actually need to move the camera back a little bit so you can see all the stuff. Chad Gable, yeah, this is a pretty cool looking figure. I wasn't expecting to pick this up, but once I saw it in person, I was really impressed with the way it looks, and I'm a huge Chad Gable fan, so I knew I had to pick this guy up, especially... Um, since I, I probably won't be able to find it anywhere but the stores I was shopping at. Uh, so we'll go ahead and put that guy in the background way back there because I have a lot of stuff to go through. One of the things I didn't get a chance to film was this G.I. Joe, uh, David L. Bazooka Katzenbogen. Uh, yeah, like I said or in previous videos, I'm kind of getting into these G.I. Joe figures and I saw this guy. And I've been super happy with the last ones I got, so I thought I'd pick this one up as well. Uh, I got it at Ross for about 6 bucks, which is a very, very good price for these G.I. Joes. If you can get them retail, it's a good price. But I've been having a lot of luck uh, at Ross, so if you're a G.I. Joe fan, check Ross, because that's where I've been finding pretty much all my G.I. Joes. So super happy with that. I can't wait to open him up. We'll put him back there with Chad Gable. Another figure I got at Ross will be this Invisible Man from the Universal's Monsters NECA line. Uh, I haven't had a chance to talk about this in any videos yet. I haven't recorded any videos, but I've been finding these figures at Ross. Yet again, I got this one at Ross. This one was a little bit more, $8.99. Uh, very good price. Uh, I've been finding a lot of these at Ross, so, uh, I've been trying to get all the ones I can find. So far, I have three of them. This isn't a part of the pickups, but just to show it off, I also have Frankenstein and, uh, the Bride of Frankenstein. I have both of them right there, so that'll be pretty fun to unbox when I get to it. And then that's pretty much, let's see, this wave is Frankenstein, Bride, Dracula, and the Creature from the Lagoon. 
And then this guy is actually a part of his own wave uh, with Wolfman. So I'd like to get my hands on a Wolfman if at all possible. But ever since I got the Ninja Turtles uh, Universal Monsters, I've been wanting to get my hands on anything Universal Monsters. And the fact that these are Jada toys... I, I just knew I had to have it. And you can see there's a lot of fun little effects like him pulling off his glove, grabbing his bandage and unraveling it. A lot of cool things. Same with the Ninja Turtle stuff and at a fraction of the price. So I am super into these. I love Jada Toys ever since the Street Fighter line. So can't wait to open that one up on camera for you guys. Next up, one of the more shocking pickups that I got was Dr. Octopus from the uh, Spider-Man 2, technically, uh, No Way Home series of releases. I was super afraid I'd never get this figure. I, I was able to get my hands on the Green Goblin pretty early on. Uh, I didn't struggle too too much with getting my hands on that figure. It showed up pretty much as soon as it was supposed to, and then all the other um, uh, figures from that wave showed up. There's a piece of wood right there. All the other, uh, there's a lot of dust. This thing's been sitting here for like a day and it's covered in dust. Uh, all the other No Way Home figures have shown up fairly easily. I got all the Spider-Man. I got all the, uh, you know, the, uh, well, I haven't gotten any, like the Mary Jane and, uh, Sandman and all them. I haven't gotten them, but I can. They're sitting at Walmart right now. If I wanted to go pick them up, I just, I've been wanting to save my money for other more, intriguing things like this Doc Ock and I totally I thought if I'm gonna get him I'm gonna have to get him online the idea of getting him at retail was completely gone so when I came across this I was absolutely blown away I can't wait to open this one up on camera I love Spider-Man 2 it's one of my all-time favorite movies and he fits perfectly right there um let's see this is one I am super frustrated by uh, I'm sure I talked about this in the uh, uh, little voiceover that I plan to do for the rest of this video. But the Roman Reigns Ultimate Edition figure. I did go ahead and pick him up. I wasn't going to. Uh, because, uh, like I assume I mentioned, I bought this guy online on eBay for a little bit more than retail. Like 2 $3 more than retail and then plus shipping. So it... <laughs> I, I kind of wasted my money doing it that way, and that's what happens. Sometimes you get impatient, sometimes you burn yourself, and that's okay. Buying stuff online at a higher price isn't necessarily a negative thing, so it's not the end of the world. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and try and cancel that. If I get it, no harm, no foul. I can resell it easily. Uh, I'm sure these are highly sought after, so you know I'll, I'll, I'll be able to figure something out. I just didn't want to have to wait for uh, that to show up. And then I'd, I I could have this in my hands right now. No harm, no foul. Um, so push comes to shove, you know. I can always return this if I need to. If I don't open it up by the time the other one shows up. So, you know. Uh, but it, it's still a frustrating thing. The fact that I literally bought it yesterday. The day before I'm filming this. And then I find it in the store. So uh, sometimes having a little bit of patience works out. But then again, if I wasn't, you know impatient I might not have found this like I might not have uh went to to the town that I went to 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 search for these figures and I wouldn't have found it so luckily I did because I hit the freaking jackpot today but you know uh so I did get that Roman Reigns I also picked up Asuka right here the Asuka figure this one of course is a little bit easier to get your hands on especially online for a retail price but this way I don't have to pay shipping I know the lighting's making it difficult to see uh, certain things but you know I love Asuka she's one of my favorite female wrestlers I think it's probably I think Alexa Bliss is still my top 10 like favorite I don't know why I said it like that she's like my number one in the top 10 list uh, but Asuka might be number two uh, Becky's pretty good. It's so hard to pick with the female wrestlers because they're all so really, they're all good. Uh, so it's really hard to pick, but Asuka's definitely up there. And for an Ultimate Edition, this is a great looking figure. It has beautiful head head sculpts, this mask, this cape thing. Can't wait to have this. And I have uh, more uh, Ultimate Edition female figures. I, there's not enough. I have Alexa, and that's it. 
Alexa's the only one because it's only been Charlotte, Alexa. Rhonda had one, but that's a really old figure. Uh, Bianca just got one not too long ago. We need more. We need Becky. Uh, we need, um, uh, I guess Naya could use one, uh, even though I don't like Naya. People can get over their hatred of Naya to get a decent figure out of it. Um, but there's so many female figures that we could use Ultimate Editions of, and they just don't do enough of those. Uh, and then I got my hands on the Grail, the figure I have been, figures I have been looking for. Uh, and of course, that is this Cyclops right here. This this is, uh, I traded a guy like $5 worth of weed and he gave me this uh, Cyclops. So I'm super happy to have this Cyclops figure. Uh, I hope those of you watching understand that reference. Obviously, I did not pick that up. That is not a grail. What is a grail and what I can't believe I stumbled across was this... NECA Toys Leo and Donnie 2 pack. I kind of want to turn the light off so you can see better, but uh, it is so freaking beautiful. I almost don't have enough room to fit it on the display. I can come back a little bit more, but then I'm going to be exposing the the edges of the uh, display here. Um, but yes, I for the longest time, I've had uh, Raph and Mikey and I didn't have Donnie and Leo to complete the, the set, to complete the duo. And I have been trying and trying and trying and trying to get my hands on a complete set of turtles. I wanted this set of turtles specifically because movie turtles. But I was trying to go with, you know, the Universal Monsters. I, I, I'm one away from having a complete set of Universal Ninja Turtles. I, uh, the, um... The, what are they called? Not the, it's NECA still. The Last Ronin? No, not those. I don't care about the animated ones. Uh, it's not Best Day XN. Oh, there's, there's another type of turtles I've been hunting down. I don't know. I have been looking for, oh, it's, it is Best Day XN. It's at Ross. Well, it was at Ross, and then they all disappeared. It was, uh, the 8-Bit Skins. At my local Ross, they had, uh, I think they started with Mikey and Raph, and I was like, uh, I kind of want to get those, and then they disappeared, and then the next day, show the uh, Donnie and Leo showed up, and it's like, I can never get them as a complete set, I can only get one or two, and not the other two, like, I, it's so frustrating, and here I am in the year 2024 where these are incredibly rare, incredibly valuable, very hard to get your hands on. And I just walk into a local Walmart, not that local for me, but I walk into a Walmart and I just find them. Just what? I am completely blown away. Ninja Turtles are among my favorite things of all time. So I'm completely like I, I, astonished. I... I'm so happy to have these two figures and to complete my my four pack of Ninja Turtles from the m movie. I I'm so happy. Uh, I I still need you know Shredder, uh, not Shredder, Splinter. I need April. I need like the bad guys, Bebop, Rocksteady. Well, no, it's not Bebop and Rocksteady. It, uh, uh, they're unique creations for the movie. I need Foot Ninjas. I need all those guys. But my main focus were the turtles and I finally have the turtles so now I can leisurely collect whatever I want from the movies if, if I want to get them I, I can get my hands on April she's at my Walmart right now I, I can get her pretty easily same with foot ninjas I can get the turtles from the third movie if I wanted to I don't really want to because those are not my favorite turtles but I digress I finally got these guys and I am running out of time to record on my camera so uh, but thank you guys so much for watching. This has been the the greatest uh, toy hunt I've ever been on. I have never been so lucky on a toy hunt like this. So I'm blown away. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, <laughs> have you ever had as much luck as I have in in toy hunting? I, I don't know. Uh, leave a like, leave a comment, leave a subscribe. All the things YouTubers ask you to do, just do it for me as well. And I will be back with another video, hopefully very, very soon. Bye.